Now turns to part three. Part three. A student wants to register for a conference. Listen to the conversation between the student and the woman and answer the questions. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 24. Now, listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 24. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. Is this where we register for the Beyond 2000 conference? Yes. What's your name and I'll get your conference bag. Well, I haven't actually registered yet. I was told I'd be able to register today, so I hope that's OK. I've just arrived in Melbourne. That should be fine if you're a student. I'll need to take your details, though. So, can I have your full name? Yes, sure. It's Melanie Mitchell. Is that M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L? -L? Yes, that's right. And that's Ms, not Miss. OK, fair enough. And what's your address, Melanie? I live in student accommodation at Sydney University, so my address there is Room 66, Women's College, Newtown. OK. And which faculty are you studying in? I'm in the Faculty of Education. I'm doing a Master's in Primary School Teaching. Right. And may I see your student card because I need to verify that you're a current student? Yes, sure. Here it is. My number is 994-578-ED. The woman asks the students some more questions about the conference. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 25 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 25 to 30. OK. Now, do you want to attend all three days? The conference runs from Thursday to Saturday. Yes, I think so, if I can afford it. What does it cost? Well, you're eligible for a student discount, which makes it $15 for a day registration or $40 for the three days, though it is possible to register for half a day only. I'll register for all three days, please. Good. Now, will you be requiring accommodation while you're here in Melbourne? Yes, I suppose I will. What's available? Well, we have several levels of accommodation. You can share a room with another student for $25 a night. Hmm. Or you can have your own room but share the bathroom. I believe it's just down the corridor. That's $45. Right. Or you can have a single room with your own bathroom. I don't mind sharing a room. On second thoughts, yes, I do. I'll have my own room, but I'll share the bathroom. Right. Now, the conference fee does not include meals, though you do get tea and coffee in the breaks. Shall I put you down for lunch? That's an extra $10 a day. And there's the conference dinner on Friday night, which is $25. Oh, and what about breakfast? <laughs> Hang on a minute. It's all starting to sound rather expensive. Um, I'll have the lunch, but not the dinner or breakfast, if that's OK. Perfectly OK. Now, a couple of other things. There are a number of special interest groups organised. They're known as SIGs, and you're asked to nominate your preference. They'll take place on the Friday afternoon and Saturday morning. But they're filling up quickly, which is why you need to nominate now. Right. What are the SIGs? Well, there are six altogether. Let's see. On Friday, you have a choice between computers in education or teaching reading skills. Hmm. Or a session on catering for the gifted child. Oh, they all sound interesting. 
But technology in the classroom is really my area of interest, rather than reading. So I'll go for that. I can probably read up on the gifted child topic myself. Right. And then the Saturday options are a session on cultural differences, or there's music in the primary curriculum, or you could go to the one on gender issues in the classroom. Wow! Can I go to them all? They all sound fascinating. Afraid not. Well. I'm really interested in how boys and girls behave differently, even when they are very young. So I'd better opt for the third session, even though the cultural differences sig is probably really interesting too. Right. And the music option would be interesting. And how would you like to pay? We accept most credit cards or bank checks, but not personal checks. I'm afraid. Been caught out too often before. <laughs> and cash, of course. We never say no to cash. I'll have to put it on my card because I don't have enough cash on me right now. That's fine. Enjoy your time here with us in Melbourne. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Hi, this is Old Spot. I would very much appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and share this video, as this will enable me to help more old students reach their old goals. Very much appreciate it. Thank you.